First Star I See Tonight is the latest in my Chicago Stars series, which was never supposed to be a series. And every book I write, I say, this is the last one. Uh, and this is the last one, probably. It's the story of um, Cooper Graham. Cooper Graham is a retired former quarterback at the Chicago Stars. My husband says the Chicago Stars have had more retired former quarterbacks than any NFL team. Uh, Graham is uh, extremely competitive. He is a winner. He lives to win. The heroine, Piper Dove, has started a brand new detective agency. Her entire future depends on her first big assignment, which is to follow Cooper Graham. Doesn't go well. Not well at all. <laughs> There was a rule that you weren't, we as romance writers weren't supposed to write about sports, but nobody told me the rule. And so I wrote a book called Fancy Pants, uh, which was published in, uh, I forget the exact year, but it would have been the late 80s. And it's a book about the world of professional golf, which is the single most boring sport in the world. But I had this idea of taking, kind of creating this good old boy golf hero. Uh, he'd been raised on these hard scrabble public golf courses and then putting him in that whole world. Um, and the book was really, really successful. So as I'm writing that book, I had an idea in the back of my mind for a number of years what would happen if a woman who knew nothing about sports inherited a professional football team? I thought this was a hysterical idea. Um, and again, I still didn't know we weren't allowed to write about sports. That book became It Had to Be You, which was the first of the football romances. I'm very interested in all the front office kind of manipulations. I'm interested in sudden fame, uh, how this affects younger players. Um, I'm interested in the, the lives of the wives. So I'm interested in all of the surrounding tissue of professional sports, but not actually the sport itself. Jane and Krentz and I do a workshop at RWA every year where we talk about um, individual styles of writing, we talk about the industry. And one of the things that uh, I have discovered is really valuable for writers is the idea that every writer doesn't write a book the same way. There's so many approaches to writing. My approach is, uh, is very disorganized. Uh, I'd like to have a more organized approach. I'd like to be a writer who can come up with a lovely outline and know who her characters are before she starts. And there are a number of the amazing Susan Mallory does that. She knows exactly where she's headed. She knows who her characters are before she starts. When I write, I will sort of have this kind of germ and I'll write chapter one, those two words, and then kind of go and write a little bit and then delete all that and then go back and write some more and delete that. And I struggle through getting that first chapter done and I start the second chapter and then I have to go back and redo the first chapter to keep up with what I've discovered in the second chapter. So for me, writing the book is the whole process of discovery. That's what's exciting about it, but it is a messy process. And I really recommend to new writers, if you can work with an outline, it's probably easier to go that way. One of the, th the things that most attracts me to the romance genre is when the hero and heroine met, meet and they don't instantly fall in love. They fall into conflict. Uh, I love writing that and I love writing the idea that both of them are flawed people and it's their friendship and their love those are that's part of what makes them better people uh, is it a fantasy maybe not always we see that in relationships all the time complementary relationships that in a solid relationship we help our partner grow in some way I'm very interested in the growth of the characters 
in knowing that the characters are capable of doing something at the end of the book that they couldn't do at the beginning. I love reading stories like that, and that's the story I like to write.